Greetings demons and welcome to what is going to be my final thoughts and impressions on chapter OG Remix which is obviously OG2 and in general has been a bit of a mixed bag it's got to be said but I'll get into that as we go into the video and actually you know play a match just to finish off this season but yeah let's get into it. Not the leader of a cult, rabbit with sex. So I think it's worth saying that, for the most part, people this season have not really been enjoying um, Fortnite that much. And I, I think that comes down to a lot of things, mostly coming down to what you're seeing right now, which is uh, all the different collaborations that are on the bus. Um, the fact that this season was supposed to be, you know, a version of, you know, OG Chapter 2, and yet it felt more like just, you know... Yeah, sure, we're back on the Chapter 2 map, but we're not really experiencing Chapter 2 like we did with OG, like the original. Uh, with OG original, like, for the most part, we experienced the entirety of Season 1, or at least large swaths of it. And there was a lot of, uh, lot of elements there that were really, you know, represented that just haven't been this time around. And I think a lot of that comes down to the fact that, you know, Spaghetti Grotto, the Dog Pound, and Ice Isle exist. The fact that, you know, three of the most iconic locations from Chapter 2 were turned into, you know, named character, you know, collaboration even, uh, POIs, I think really upset people. Um, and I think it's unfortunate, because I think genuinely, this has been a pretty good season. I'm really sorry, Kit Bash, to do this to you, but I need to survive. Oh boy. Oh boy. Just let me get rid of this Kit Bash so I can grab your weapon. There we go. Um, I think for the most part, people have been a little bit mean to this season. Like, I think some of the hate is unwarranted. But it isn't as good as many people, you know, will obviously remember uh, good old Fortnite Chapter 2. Because, like, at the end of the day, that was when a lot of people got into this game. Like, a lot of people were playing from that point. And I, I think, uh, for the most part, it is a very nostalgic time for a lot of uh, a lot of players. It's like, even right now, landing at Catty Corner, like, this was my favourite location from Chapter 2. You know, I'm a huge fan of Kitbash. Um, the fact that, you know, he was an NPC here and stuff was excellent. I, I loved it. And, you know, I have a lot of good memories from this very specific location. Um, I need to know where that enemy is. Okay, we've got a, we've got a Spider-Woman over there. Got a Gwen Stacy. Spider-Gwen, whatever. Um, so, yeah, well, let's go let's deal with that. There we go. Uh, was that another player? That was a kit, another kit bash. Okay. Then we just need to take out Kit. But yeah, I think a lot of people were very disappointed that some of the more memorable NPCs and locations and stuff were, you know, turned into nothing more than, you know, references to collaborations and stuff, which, you know, I think people for the most part do like the collaborations this season. But I think I'd be lying to myself and lying to all you guys if I said that, you know, it, it isn't a disappointment that we didn't get, you know, more of the original Chapter 2 stuff. I'm going to get killed by that, uh, by that player if I'm not careful. Hmm. Right. Kit is now on my side, so hopefully I can figure something out in terms of, uh, uh, I think we need to take care of this person. They're very close to death. I don't know. Oh, wait. I have the grenade launcher. Nope. That was a missed shot. I meant to get myself closer to the uh, thing. Right. Okay. Where'd they go? Where did they go? No? That was a juice, I think, as well. Hmm. Oh, there they are. Come on. Come on. You can't just fight me like that, and then as soon as I take you to low health, you just run away. But they did. They certainly did. Okay. Absolute coward players sometimes. But, um, yeah, I feel, I feel like generally I, I have enjoyed the season. Obviously, you know, I've got to, what, level 96? Uh, a lot of that has been recent. I've been playing a lot more Rocket Racing, which has got me a lot of XP. But, uh, yeah, like, I have enjoyed the season in general. But there's just, there has been, definitely been some stuff that's been missing for this to be... Oh! Whoops. <laughs> um, missing from this being a... Yeah, there we go. 
I'm missing for this to be an actual proper chapter two, like remix, like proper chapter two season. And I think a lot of people have felt that way, um, which is, is is unfortunate because there are a lot of good things happening. But yeah, I, I'd, I'd be lying, as I said, if I even tried to suggest that, uh, you know, this was a perfect season in terms of the content drops. And I think a lot of it comes down to the fact that we didn't see as big map changes as we did with the original uh, Chapter OG. Because the original Chapter OG like, went through different seasons, like, the map actively changed, like, you know, to a pretty drastic degree. We just didn't see that this time. Like, obviously, Cat Corner got introduced, but it was here at the start of the season. It just wasn't a named location. And didn't have the NPCs and stuff. But, like, you know, other than adding a few extra bosses and stuff, nothing really changed with the map. And I think, I think that's kind of a big miss. And, like, uh, that's not to say that, you know, the loophole was bad or anything. Like, obviously, you're, you're looking at it right now. For the most part, everything here is a really good, right, beloved weapon in the community. And... I don't know, I, I feel like they just kind of missed in a few key aspects when it came to actually, like, making a season that people wanted, especially with how much hype there was behind it all. The fact that it took until, like, two days before for Epic to start advertising that the season was even happening in any way, they were too busy, you know, advertising various creative experiences and collaborations and stuff, that didn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. You know, you could also say, like, the lackluster end to last season, you know, the, the event not exactly being to everyone's standards, necessarily. There's a lot of things that just added up to the season kind of being looked at as a bit of a miss. And I, I would I would not disagree with that sort of uh, perspective there. Do I want the SMG or do I want the, shot, the jetpack? I think I'll take the jetpack, especially because I have the impulses. Like, I feel like having that combination is actually really powerful. Uh, but th that's the thing, it's like... Just talking about loot like that, it's just... I enjoy that there's actually, like, choices being made. Like, I don't love the charge shotgun, but I have the mythic. Like, if I had any other charge shotgun right now, I would definitely be picking up that tack right now. The tack is my favourite shotgun in the game. Like, it always has been, it always will be. And it brought it back for the season. It's really nice to see it. Oh, we had a bit of a freeze there. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll probably edit around that, but uh, the game did freeze a little bit there, which is a bit concerning. Um... But yeah, in, ge in general, like, this season has been a bit all over the place. And that's not even getting into, like, the cosmetic drops and stuff. Obviously, like, the Battle Pass, um, I, I don't know how clear I made it, you know, in my original Battle Pass review at the start of the season. But I didn't love this Battle Pass. Like, I, I feel like the remixes are a bit all over the place. Uh, the, the, the main, the big thing that stands out to me is the fact that Meowdus is just not a good remix. Like, it doesn't feel correct. There's something wrong about that collaboration, that, that combo. Especially because they're both from Chapter 2 Season 2 as well. Like, we, it, there's a serious lack in stuff from seasons that aren't Chapter 2 Season 2. And I feel like that really is felt in the Battle Pass the most. So right now I'm playing as uh, Undercover Sky. Which is great. It's Sky meets Guff in a more, you know, direct way. And I, I like the skin. But this is legitimately the only skin from the season I don't have archived, at least from the Battle Pass. I, I have skins that have come out this season that I thought were good enough to keep, but yeah, when it comes to this season pass, this Battle Pass, whatever, this was the skin that I've liked, and I really do like this one. I think this is one of the best skins. I think this is better than Original Sky. It's better than Summer Sky as well. Uh, Winter Sky, like, all the different Sky variants. Is there Winter Sky? I'm, I'm thinking of a different skin. It doesn't really matter. But, like, I do think this is legitimately the best version of Sky we've had. And I really do like the skin. I like her entire set for the most part. I'm not a, I've not got it equipped right now, but her uh, her pickaxe is excellent. It's a combination between her and Guff's pickaxe. And I just think that's really fun. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I just... I don't know. There's something missing, I feel, from this season in terms of, uh, in, in terms of the Battle Pass that I, I hope next season, you know, knowing what we know right now, um, no spoilers in this video, but, you know, we already have the key art and stuff, so we, we know what's coming. I'm hoping that I end up enjoying that stuff way more. Obviously, I'm not going to know for sure what I'll like or dislike until I see it in-game. But uh, for the most part, I just, I just hope that next season I actually enjoy stuff a bit more. Because as of right now, I'm, I I haven't really enjoyed the content uh, cosmetic-wise. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Oh, they're just lining up at this point. 
Okay, yeah, I'm not going to get that up here, I don't think. Uh, I'm going to quickly heal up while I'm up here, just because there's plenty of heals going around. Need to be careful for the vehicles. Okay, 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 no, no. Ah! Uh, and that is one of the issues with the current loot pool, is that that is the most powerful weapon on the map right now, and there's no counter to it. Like, whoever gets the, uh, the Rap God minigun is destroyed immediately. And that's not even mentioning the fact that uh, Eminem himself is really powerful as an NPC. Just... But anyway, um, moving on from that, we'll get into another match. Something that I can kind of, you know, say to the benefit of this season not being so heavily based around, you know, the actual Chapter 2 is the fact that its theming was actually way more consistent, I guess, compared to, you know, last season being the Marvel season. Like, I mean, even down to the fact that my pickaxe right now is a Snoop Dogg bust. Like, that's something that we just didn't see. This is for the, uh, for the ranked rewards. Like, this was the final reward for playing through ranked, for getting 100 uh, Storm Circles survived, or whatever it actually was. And for the most part, like, I'd say that is better than what we got last season. Because last season wasn't Marvel themed, even though the season was Marvel. It was a really weird inconsistency there. There wasn't anything from ranked rewards that were, uh, specifically Marvel based. I don't know where I'm gonna actually land here. Um... I don't actually know. Uh, we'll just land at Misty, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's just... This season, though, like, the music stuff feels a little bit out of place compared to, you know, the general theme of it being Chapter 2, like, I feel at the same time, they were able to do a lot more consistent features relating to the musical artists, especially Snoop Dogg. And obviously, it helps that Snoop is the featured artist on Festival right now. But, like... It did feel like everything was a bit more consistent in that regard compared to, you know, previous seasons that have been a bit all over the place in terms of what theming they're going for. And I don't know, I feel like that is worth celebrating. But it's like, even down to, like, I, I don't actually like this glider that much. The, uh, this is actually the ranked version of the, uh, the umbrella. But, like, this umbrella is at least consistent with the theming. Like, properly. It, it's, it's a record scratch. You know, it, it makes sense for the remix season. And,. Yeah, I, I feel like previous seasons have just not quite had that in the same way, which, you know, you say what you will about how much, you know, better those seasons were than this season or whatever else, like, I, I still think that is worth commending, is the fact that they did manage to keep it that consistent. I'm going to deal with this person. I was a bad aim there, but I managed to get the kill, so I don't really mind. Um, But yeah, I, just, I feel like overall this season has been a very mixed bag in terms of, like, the actual season-specific stuff. And I was not even mentioning all the other random things that have happened outside the season, like the big thing. Um, and you can see them on me. They introduced kicks. They introduced, you know, wearable, buyable shoes in Fortnite. And, like, as I've said in my multiple videos at this point, I've done across this channel and the, and the uh, second channel, talking about kicks and my thoughts on them, it's like, I, I don't hate the idea of kicks, and I think it was inevitable in a lot of ways. I think a lot of people have, have always kind of theorised this would be the next cosmetic. It would be, you know, shoes. But I, I don't know if the way they've done it was right. And I, I think a lot of it comes down to the pricing. Like, I feel like the fact that it started out with a collaboration... Sorry. Um, The fact it started out with a collaboration, the fact that, you know, they have got some original designs as well mixed in... I feel like they've done a good job of it in that respect, but at the end of the day, like, I, I don't think they're worth the money that they are worth. It's, it's nice they included a pair in the actual Battle Pass because, like, it means I can actually experience them, um, despite the fact I'm not planning right now, at least, on buying any of the kicks in the item shop. But it's like, they, they've already released a second wave of kicks in the item shop, a third wave, even, of kicks in the item shop, and I don't know, it feels questionable to be, you know, pushing this kind of stuff, this heavily. Jeez, okay. And, like, not to make this just another video ranting about kicks, but it's just, for what these are, especially, like, you know, look at them on my character right now. Like, for what these are, they are not worth the prices that they're trying to make us pay. Um, there we go, try on kicks. It just, to me, it seems questionable. Like, as a decision, in general. It's like, for the most part, you know, going over to the battle pass, like, the content here is pretty nice. Like we've got a nice selection of 
like pretty much everything except the skins to me is usable. Like I, I quite like all the cosmetics here. Like this is the the pickaxe I was talking about. Like I, I feel like all this stuff's great. Like I, th I think it's really, really cool. Like the references are really nice. I don't quite understand. We got one ball and then we also got ten ball. Obviously, both being spins on eight ball, eight ball from chapter two. It's like I don't really get that one necessarily, but you know, it is it is what it is. Um, there, there were some good skins. Ghostly director is actually, on, or should I say, chaos director, um, is actually like legitimately a good skin. But I, I don't know. There's something that just doesn't interest me, and it's, it doesn't help that I'm not the biggest fan of the chaos skins in general. Uh, I think the aesthetics are pretty nice, but like. It's, it's by no means a skin that I care too much for. And I think it gets massively upgraded by the bonus bonus style that you get. But yeah, I, I feel like the, the big sticking point was, you know, in the D in the Dynamo Tiantina stuff. Not only, you know, this is not necessarily the best skin that we could have got as our, like, bonus skin, so to speak. Or our, you know, secret skin. I think most people don't like Dynamo Tiantina. I think for the most part people have really made it clear they weren't a fan. But then also, the fact that we get the Air Jordan 1 High OG Black Toe reimagined. Like, it's nice to get them. I'm not, I'm not complaining that we got them at all. But, like, it just... I don't know, it puts a dampener on this Battle Pass as a whole. The fact that it is a permanent reminder that this is the season that brought in what currently is one of the most overpriced and not worth, you know, cosmetic item that we've ever had in Fortnite. And that's saying things. Like, we've had a lot of really kind of worthless cosmetics over time, but yeah. And as I say, like, th there are some cool things. I don't think it'll show me anymore, but yeah, no, it won't. But, like, the ranked rewards were really good this season. Like, this being the final the final item, the, uh, what was it, the golden pincher? The golden pincher? Uh, gilded pincher, sorry. Um, it's like, there's a lot of good stuff here. And like obviously, I've got this all sorted by this was a this was a bonus for playing at the start of the season. Like there's, there's a lot of good stuff. Like cosmetic wise, we've done really well this season. So the, the Dreamix glider, I just I don't love. It's not an umbrella, is it? It's 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 a it's a record on a stick. Like it, I don't know. Like there, there's some good stuff though. Like it is legitimately been a really good uh, season when it comes to cosmetics. And it's like that's not even talking about festival because obviously festival is a different conversation. But like. Yeah, FNCS happened this this season, obviously, and was really nice, like, in general. Like, I, I feel like we've had a lot of good stuff happen this season. And, you know, simultaneously, I, I feel like it's not been... It's been overshadowed, I guess, by the fact that we've got, you know, Eminem, Snoop Dogg, Ice Spice, you know, Juice World, which I, I, love, Ju I love that Juice World's here. Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining at all about Juice World. But just like, also it appears I do have a chair, case director uh, isn't in my vault, but yeah, it's like, there's so much happening all at once, and it's not even getting into the archive stuff, like, obviously that's all the, the battle pass stuff, but uh, yeah, it's just like, these skins, they're fine, I guess, but I don't love them. I, I guess it all comes down to, like, this was a small battle pass because, you know, short season, stuff like that. There's a lot of things wrong with the season, there's a lot of things that have been done right, and I hope I've at least, you know, mentioned um, enough of those things to make it seem like, I enjoyed the season, I got to level 95, like, I, I, I clearly, or 96 even, I, I clearly enjoyed the season, but I, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to next chapter, for sure, and, you know, only, you know, as of recording, one hour, uh, one day, sorry, 22 hours and 30 minutes, like, 40 minutes, it, it's not far away, and I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be good. I'm hoping the finale is actually a good cap to this season. And, uh, yeah, like, we didn't even talk about... I don't think it's going to come up in my list, but... Reload. The fact that it now has rotation of the maps. Like, currently, it's, it's saying Oasis is running, but the next map is available in 18 minutes. Like, the fact there's map rotation now, it's lovely. And that that's something that was introduced this season. Like, there's so many nice little quality of life things like that that I really do appreciate seeing. But yeah, I, I think that really rounds out my opinion on the season is that it's introduced a lot of good things. It's also introduced a lot of questionable things or potentially even bad things for the future Fortnite. But at the end of the day, it's the end of the chapter. You know, this was a bit of a celebration of chapter two in a way, you know, to, to cap off chapter, uh, chapter five, chapter six, whatever. Um, and I, I just I just hope that chapter six is better. I'm getting the chapter names mixed up. But I'm, I just hope the next next chapter is better, honestly. 
And based on what we're seeing, it might be. It might be. But uh, that's a that's a topic for for the next for the next uh, season video. But uh, yeah. With that being said, though. I think I'm going to leave it there. So that's going to be it from me. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like it, subscribe to Nanta, and ring the bell so you never miss upload. Otherwise, comment below your thoughts and feelings on, you know, chapter remix, Fortnite OG remix, whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it from me. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Look at the screen. You'll be fine. Cultures of the same. I just wanna tell